Good evening, my dear friends. This is Nushin. I'm back. Uh, we just had another session of our uh, Making a Commitment for Love workshop. Um, I decided to stay on uh, the subject of respect. Um, since we had a few of our participants who missed out last week and a couple of new people that joined us and um, I asked a couple of questions and we delved on it for an hour and a half almost or more almost close to two hours actually um what does respect mean to you i want you to think about it um uh, you know just put the put it under underneath whenever you watch this video and um how can someone earn your respect? That's another question that comes up a lot. Um, um, then uh, what else? Um, do you pay more respect to a person who is financially wealthy or educationally? The, the reason I'm asking this is uh, a lot of things are cultural, a lot of things are um, basically um, taught to us from the beginning when we we're, we were, we were little girls or boys and we grew up and they said somebody who has money, you need to respect them. Is that true for you? I mean... Um, doesn't happen to me a lot of times. Uh, what I was saying was, I always pay respect to people, I'm polite to them as well as paying respect to them until they prove it otherwise to me. So for me, putting a person um, on pedestal and looking high, you know, looking at them and thinking highly of them, that's the way I pay respect to people. But uh, maybe I was brought up that way that, uh, you know, uh, pay respect to your elderly or pay respect to the stranger, that even though you don't know them. Um, even though it has to be earned, respect has to be earned, um, I go the other way. I willingly <laughs> put that person on pedestal until they break that vow and i was just want to know what do you guys think how do you feel about this so i see Khashayor is watching but you know thank you for being here um let me know you know right you can privately message me you know if you have any uh, thing that you want to talk about respect anything that uh, triggers anywhere or the way you take care of yourself, the way you put makeup on, the way you shave if you're a man, uh, are these, part, these self, parts of self-care and self-respect uh, to you or no? Uh, we have talked about this for, you know, almost three hours, last week and this week in the group. You can still join us if you wish. Uh, I will let you know about the information and uh, next week we are going to talk about communication. So it will be great if you want to come and um, be a part of this amazing group of uh, like-minded people and talk about your thoughts and issues or challenges if you have, or if you want to teach us something new, uh, because maybe you had an experience and we can use that. So all that said, Take care of yourself, stay safe and healthy, and I hope that wherever you are, you are keeping warm and nice and cozy. And uh, to the people in Austin, I'm glad my daughter is here, not in Austin right now. Um, it's very bad, and I wish everyone a very safe and healthy time wherever the this cold weather is, uh, is right now. So... Um, until next time, love you very much. Take care of yourself and be in touch. Bye-bye.